Hi. Hi, Sandra Fraser, emergency foster team. We spoke on the phone. Uh, nice to meet you. Right, uh, these are yours. Um, signature on the top one, please. Uh, thanks for doing this at such short notice. Your first time, is it? Uh, yeah, I've just been approved. Well, good luck. Thanks. Uh, right, introductions. Sam? Sam? Oh, what? I'm not staying with him. He's my teacher. Yeah, it is unusual, but frankly, we're running out of options. Look, I, I, I know it's a shock, Sam, but, um, come in. We'll have a chat. It'll be fine. I'm an approved foster carer. I don't care if you're a pauper or It don't mean I've got to live with you. Happy now, why you? You got what you wanted? My family cast four ways! Rose. Don't you rose me. I know it were you done this. We didn't call the social on you. Then who did? Well, you no, know, it could have been anybody. You've not exactly been neighbour of the year, have you? Look, Rose, I'm sorry the kids got taken. But it won't be forever, you know, just until you get yourself sorted out. You might be glad of the break. But in the meantime, if there's anything we can do, just ask, OK? Are you taking the piss? No, no, I'm serious. We want to help, don't we, Tom? Sure. Right then. Give me a lift to school. I got a job to go to. Are these sheets still? No. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They are. They're not. Yeah, they are. All right, they are. Mr. Wilder, are you kinky or what? Is that all right? Yeah. How many inches? Forty-two. Sam? Sam, you right in there? I'm having a dumb. Right. I'll leave you to it. Just to let you know, I've um, arranged for us both to have the morning off school. What have you done that for? Well, to give us time to settle in together. I thought we could come up with a strategy to tell your friends about our arrangement. You're bound to be feeling a little awkward about it. No, I are. It's not as if any of this is my fault. I want to go in. It's bad enough shacking up with a teacher. I don't want special treatment as well. Whatever makes you comfortable. I'll phone Miss Mason and let her know. Whatever. What I wouldn't give to be them shorts. What I wouldn't give to have them shorts. I'd stick them under my pillow. I'll chop them up and flog the pieces. Plenty of girls would pay good money for a piece of cleaver. Yeah. Come on. Oh, racism. Loser. <laughs> They'll let you bake me once in a while. Keep up your confidence. Lunchtime, yeah? Do you think you can take it? Oh, I can take Oi, it, mate. Oi, Bullen. What? Can you do us a favour? What? Can you nick us a pair of Mr. Cleaver's shots? Get off! What's this problem? So, are you still treating us to the cinema tonight? Well, I've got a few quid left after taking a mortgage out on those trainers. <laughs> Scuff them and you die. <laughs> what? Have I told you lately how great you are? Not lately, no. Hi, right, two tickets for you, Ella. Thanks. Cheers. How about you? Yeah. One Good ticket, on. top man. One, two. You're there, miss. Yeah. What does Miss Mason want, man? Yo, it's sweet, mate. She ain't got a clue. Still up for the big fight, yeah? A big time. Top man. See you in a bit. Where are you? Some stuff that I need sorting. Look, you gotta come and see me. Uh, just give me a call when you get this, yeah? All right. My pleasure. Mortgage broker. Hello. Hiya. How you doing? Are they treating you alright at that hostel? Yeah, you know, it's sad. <clears throat> oh, I gotta go, so. But you'll never get the chance to Just don't talk to me, yeah? Don't be nice to me and nothing. Just act normal. And I won't be nice to you either. Alright? Have you got that? Alright, got it. I'll um see you tonight. No, I'm yeah. out. Okay, cool with that. Um got you one of these. Sam, 
Oh, um, Earl Kelly's social worker called and he uh, absconded from his foster home last night. Oh, great. Well, pull him in first thing and let's see what's going on, huh? Yeah. But on the subject of the Kellys, Matt called me last night and he's fostering Sam. Matt's a foster carer? Yeah. He applied a while ago. I gave him a reference and, well, Sam's his first placement. I want us to give him all the support that we can on it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, my goodness, he is the man himself. How did it go this morning? Was Sam settling in OK? Yeah, she was a bit, um, surprised. But I think we'll be fine. Good on you, Matt. It'll take a bit of getting used to her, though, won't it? Having a kid around, and especially a pupil. I mean, it's hard enough getting used to having Philip about, and he's a good kid. Well, so Sam, give him the chance. Exactly. Look, if there's anything we can do to sort of help it along, just let us know. Thanks, but I'm quietly confident. I know she's a handful, but uh, I'm up for it. I get on great with kids. Good luck. Good. Yeah, well, uh, well, thanks for trying, eh? Bye. Now, Joy. That was the last one on the list. Right, well, time to break the bad news. I've got a pass from today. Chloe, can Tom have a quick word? What's up? Listen, we've um, got a bit of news about the house. Has the money come through? Well, um, it's complicated. Look, I'll catch you later. I don't want you to miss registration. Oh, all right. Great. Nicely done. Is that all fight money? The fan site is going crazy. I'm telling you, this boxing promotion thing is big business. Yeah, so is the DVDs. I'm trying here, all right? Yeah, I know. But what if something goes wrong? What if Bolton gets hurt? What if Mason finds out? And how's that going to happen? All right, the guy from River School's a tadpole man, yeah? Bolton is going to mash him up. Donnie Charles, Boxing Promotions Limited. Yeah, this is Mr. Charles speaking. How can I be of assistance, sir? Well, you certainly kept that one quiet. Well, I didn't want to say anything until I've been approved. It's something I've always wanted to do that, you know, Colin, he was never really interested. But when he left, I thought, oh, well, I'll stop him here. So, here I am. Yeah, but having Sambuca Kelly with you is certainly going to put a kibosh on your nights on the tiles. Look, all that matters is offering her some stability. So from here on in, that's my top priority. Well, you know where I am. Anyway, let's face it, even if you're rubbish at it, you can't be any worse than Rose Kelly. Oh, no, I can't strike down. Just tell me I still got my job. I, I lost it a bit after the kids went. You know what it's like. No, I don't. Because none of mine ain't never been in care. Look, I'm sorry for you. I really am. But a job's a job. You can't just ditch it when you want to go on a bender. I know, and I won't. I'm off the bev. Check it, you won't find nothing. Please, Candice. If I'm going to get the kids back, I need to be working. I don't stand a chance else. Just give me a day, a trial. I'll do anything to prove I'm serious. Laura's minging. Make it shine. Is your mum a junkie? Get off it. Well, why'd you get put in care, then? I mean, who gets taken off the mum and dumped on a teacher? I'll tell myself. Well, I reckon it's a laugh. I'll do it that time. Found these in Wilding's lab for getting rid of trap farts. <laughs> Result. All right, everybody, pipe down. Let's make a start. Page 13. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Sorry, sir. Uh, maybe I need to take one of Windy Wilding's special tablets. <laughs> Where'd you get to last night? I went round your foster place. Stuck out. Hey, whoever girl are allowed. Maxine, if you'd let me move into yours, you wouldn't have to worry, would you? But I'll ask Steph again to see if she'll change her mind. Whatever. Shall you to be in class? Oh. I'm supposed to be now. And last night you were supposed to be your foster carer, so where were you? Fine. I'll call your social worker back, invite her in for a chat. Stayed at my stepdad's, didn't I? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ring him if you like. Don't worry, I will. Yeah? Good luck with that. 
Well, if it isn't the patron saint of hopeless causes. Uh, you know the contents of your bathroom cabinet are the talk of my year nine. What? How you expect to keep any respect in the classroom with that one rifling through your smalls is beyond me. Oh, come on, mate. It was bound to happen. Any kid would have done the same, never mind a Kelly. Well? Give me a chance. She's been in classes all morning. Tom, you can't put it off forever. Chloe will understand. Well, I thought she was getting 75 grand and now she's getting diddly. They were really banking on that money. They probably spent half of it already. Oh, that's stupid. Oh. Well, even more reasons to tell them quick before they spend any more. Oh, well. No, Maxine, no way. You took me in. That was different. How was it? It hasn't got anywhere else to go. Look, I can't stop you seeing Earl Kelly, clearly, but I can stop you seeing him in my house. End of. Yeah, I checked the flyers. I made them from the pictures off Bolton's fan site. All right. Dan, we're supposed to be keeping this quiet. All right. All right, guys, keep it on the down low, yeah? Come on. Hey, Cole, can I have a word? Yeah. Listen, the uh, coach eye guy wants an extra 200 quid for tonight. Oh, well, I hope you told him to go and get stuffed. Yeah, because I'm going to get another coach from where, Chloe? Uh, I'm going to go pay the guy now and uh, I'll just whack out one of the credit cards. No way, they're already stacked. Yeah, well, we'll just pay him off when we get the money for the house. Just cover for me, yeah? Why don't you return my calls? Out of credit. Well, why not buy a top up? Why don't you mind your own? Sorry. I'm just proper stressed, aren't I? Well, that's not like you. So foster day. What are your new family like? Nightmare. You keep trying to make me say a prayer before my dinner. <laughs> What's my son like that? Well, she's not with me, is she? She's with one of the teachers from here. One of them posh flats on Barlow Road. Well, that'll suit her. She's always had ideas above herself. That teacher must be minted. He's a gay boy. And a pisshead. Well, Sam will be right at home then. So, are you not going to do anything? I mean, she's your daughter, isn't she? Well, like what? I don't know, but Mum needs you to sort it. Said that, has she? Not in so many words, but she's trying to fix it and... She thinks that by keeping that crappy job, that's all she has to do to get us all back. Well, she's earning. Yeah, she's a din lady, isn't she? Right, you can stop now and go and make me another brew. Because I mean, I got my job back. No drinking, no lip, one slip and you're out. Thanks, Candies. I'll be as good as gold. You won't even know I'm here. You're gonna tell me what the hell's been going on with my family? Right, who's in charge of this funny oh, farm? Davis. Shut up, Rose. Hello, it's Rachel Mason. How can I help you? Well, you can start by showing me where to find the pissed up wolf who's got my daughter. Reynolds! I will not have homophobic language in this office. It's completely unacceptable. No, what's unacceptable is the fact that you lot think you can take my kid into care without so much as a phone call. It wasn't them, it was the social. Same difference. Okay. So, this piece was originally written for flute and voice. Um, is a flute a wind instrument, sir? <laughs> What's that you, sir? Letting out a little painful bubble of trapped air. I think you better take one of these. If no one's got any questions, I'll continue. I've got one. Lauren. Why have you got hair waxing strips in your bog? Whether well, for your back or for your crack. Sam, could I have a word outside, please? Well, we like to you. Wants to get you on his silky sheets. <laughs> Sam, when I agreed to foster you, I wasn't looking for thanks. I was hoping to make some kind of connection. Find out that you've stolen one of my private things and then flaunted it around school. How do you think that makes me feel? I don't know. Well, try humiliated. Disappointed. 
if this is going to work, we need to respect each other. It's got to be trust. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, let's go back to class. That's it? You're not going to kick me out or shout me or anything? Why would I? There's very little that can't be solved through open and honest conversation. You said you're sorry? Let's move on. I believe there were several attempts made to contact you regarding Sam's care. No one can find you, Reynolds. Yeah, well, I'm here now. So, call up whoever you have to and tell them that from now on, Sam's living with me. Sorry? It's not as simple as that, I'm afraid. Well, so she can't stay with me, but she can stay with some complete stranger. Mr Wilding is a respected member of staff. And I'm a father. Sure is out on that. You want to say that again, mate? What Mr Lawson means is if perhaps you'd had a bit more contact with Sam, you would have realised Mrs Kelly was struggling to cope with things. She likes a drink. Big deal. You want to try it sometime, I put a smile on your face. Reynolds, stop. Well, what, Rose? Hey, what are you going to do? Oh. Oh. Sorry for the bother, Mr. Lawson. Rose. Hey, Rosie! Hey. Try and. If you wouldn't mind, mate. Is there a problem, Mr. Lawson? Oh, thanks, Rob. Me and Dale will take it from here. Yeah, gentleman's leaving. What, Rose? Sam. Yeah, come on, there's a class in progress. Oh, I want to see it. Just leaving Mr. Wiley's teaching. Wiley? But that's it. That's the bloke you took. Hey, boy! Hey! Keep away from me. Dad! Dad, stop it, don't! Dad, don't be. Do you? Do you? Get him out. Get him out! Get him out now! Get away from me! Stay away from me! Oh, get me! Mr. Wilding, Sam, Miss Mason's office. The rest of you stay put. I'll send Miss Koreshi to finish your class. You all right? Come on, Sam. You want to tell me about this mortgage, then? Uh, yeah. So who's he then? Can we just drop us? No, we can't. Not when he's turning up in my kitchen shut it odds. Well, he won't be. I haven't even seen him since last summer. Except maybe once or twice. No, really. Oh, Candice, you know what it's like when you're on your own. Sometimes you just want someone around to take care of stuff. Oh, and he's the bloke, is he? I don't know. He's good for Earl, any road. He's the only one who can keep Earl in line. He thinks the sun shines out of Reynolds. Always has. Well, as long as Earl's only one that thinks like that, there won't be a problem, will there? Okay, well, I'll talk with Rose and see if she holds any sway with him. And once you've had a chance to calm down, Matt, we'll... the police are going to need a statement. I'm not reporting it. Oh, sorry, Matt, there's absolutely no way we can let this go. We can, if I refuse to press charges. What kind of message does that send out? That I'm not prepared to call the cops on my foster kid's dad. <laughs> this is ridiculous! We can't allow parents to rock up and assault our staff. No, I thought you said you wanted to support me. We do. Well, then let me do what I need to do. But this is hard enough without me being the person who gets her dad arrested. I don't want to cause any more trouble. Matt, are you sure you know what you're doing? OK. If you change your mind, you... I'll let you know. I'm sorry. Everything. All the mummies were always saying the same thing. They didn't want to me a penny. Look, honestly, I had no idea there was anything wrong with the house. I'd never lead you on. I feel terrible. Don't worry. It almost felt too good to be true. Me and Dante and all that cash. I'm really sorry. Forget it. Gotta go, yeah? Class. Chloe. Laters, yeah? Candice, is Rose about? Yeah, she's down at Fridges. Thank you. Um, you know what? I've been getting some really good reports from Melissa about your progress in the adult education classes. You know the franchise is up in this place soon. Why don't you tender? What? I mean, obviously, we'd be around to you know, support you while you get on your feet, but 
Well, I'd be happy to talk about it later if, if you're interested. Rose. Listen, if this is about what happened earlier... I'm afraid we're way beyond that. Sam's father has just assaulted Mr Wilding. Is he all right? Well, despite Mr Kelly's best efforts, yes, he is. But we can't have parents threatening the staff, Rose. If you have any influence whatsoever, just... We'll use it. I don't. But, but he won't be back. He don't even live around here. Right. Well, thank you. London. Two nights in the Premier Room with the Travellers in, and two tickets for a show. Les Miserables. It's French. You've put me a mini break. What have I done wrong? No. No, Dave. You've done perfect. Steph, I need a word. Right with you. Shots. Now what? You just read my mind. <laughs> I'm just checking to make sure that you don't mind. I was going to ask you along too, but well, uh, it's supposed to be romantic. You mean it's a day weekend? It'll be two days of fine dining and excursions. <laughs> yeah, excursions into Steph's pants. Cultural excursions, actually. There's an exhibition on at the Tate Modern. It's right up Steph's alley. <laughs> well, if anything else is heading up there, make sure you've got precautions, yeah? If she comes back here banged up, I'll be having words. So, you're all right then? We're sorted? Too right we are. Come on, mate. You might even break a sweat. sweat man. <laughs> right. Quit now, quit now. That's it, again. Bye, <laughs> Right, knock out, Bolton Smiley. That's you for now. You can finish up tonight over the park, yeah? Tonight? Yeah, tonight. But you've got something more important to do, have you? Sorry, did I... <laughs> did I confuse you with someone who wants to make it? Yeah, I do. Right, mean... then Tate was going, okay? Mate, when I was your age, I would have killed to have a trainer willing to put some time in for me. So what were you then, Aruna? Yeah, I was a hurdler. So why'd you stop? Well, nobody looking out for me. I did a couple of races before I was properly fit and uh, got injured. End of. One day I was the next Colin Jackson. Next I was told I'd never run again. But mate, that's not going to happen to you. Because when you step into the ring, you are going to be ready. And until then, baby steps. Yeah? Right. right. Tonight at the park, five. Pick up them cones, yeah? What are you saying that for? Well, I'm going to have to get out of it later. Oh, just leave it, yeah? So, you reckon she'll go for it then? If she wants you to out of care, she doesn't have a choice, does she? Hey! You've been told, haven't you? All right, I'm going. After, yeah. You bring Sam. All right. It's Walter Steph. Don't matter, I'm sorting something else. You don't need to. I've got a free house this weekend. There's two nights taken care of. Plenty of time for you to help me pack. We can't stay at yours. We can't stay at mine. Only thing left is get a place of our own. Yeah, well, what's he not gonna say about that? What she likes, I won't hear it. When she gets back on Sunday, I'll be gone. Hey, look, Wilding's not gonna give up on your cousin Reynolds, all right? He's a good bloke. Well, I took some of his stuff, but I were only having a laugh. Right, and he went mental. I just talked. I can sort anything out of an honest and open conversation. <sighs> yeah, maybe we should try that out on Reynolds, eh? Maybe you should try out on her. Why? What's to sort out? We're just couple of minutes. Yeah, when things can fly. Look at the problems me and Maxine had, and now we're thick as thieves. Feeling you're not good enough is part of the job, Matt. Well, no, this is different. If it was any other kid, I'd have a chance. It's Sam, she... She deserves 
deserves better. What, like a kid's home? Because that's where she'll end up if you jack her in. Or they'll stick her with her dad. Who what? Well, now he's back on the scene. He's the obvious choice, isn't he? Is your macaroni all right, Mr. Wilding? It's fine. I'm not that hungry. Well, Sam likes macaroni too, if you wanted to make or something. Yeah, well, I'm sure he'll uh, bear that in mind, won't you, Matt? I'm sorry. Sam's dad, he was out of order. Yeah, he was. He's lucky not to be facing a charge. Well, that's all I want to say. Sorry. And thanks for taking Sam in. It's nice to know there's still some good people out there. Or would you stop staring at that thing and get down to the bank for a business loan? Get off, I'm not going to put in for it. You're just slaving here every day as it is. You might as well be your own boss and then make a bit of money while you're at it. What? You think there's a profit in it? Uh, yeah. If you were doing the buying in this place, you could slash costs. I know a fella does cheap meat, I'll give you the number. Yeah, no, but it's not just grub, is it? I mean, there's bookkeeping and everything. Well, if that's all you're worried about, I'll do it. You? I'm not a complete dumb knot, you know. Do you really think I should put in for it? I think you'd be mad not to. What's he doing here anyway? I thought you went anywhere. You should have seen Wilding's face. It was class. He was totally gacking himself. But were you just sure Wilding's all right? I can't believe you've gone soft on him. Yeah, well, there's worse places you could be staying. Yeah. Well, don't get too comfy. Now he's met your dad. He won't want near you. Why can I care anyway? Ladies, what are you doing? Uh, sorry, emergency. Alicia had to use a laugh. Alicia? Oh, can't show. Right. Do you girls mind telling me what you're doing with a part of Mr. Cleaver's training kit? Crash with Chloe and Dante for a bit. If we go to the fight, we can ask him. We're not going to no fight. We're not staying with Dante either as a tosser. We said we'd get our own place. And where are we going to get the cash for that? New trainers, Philip. Right, Chloe. Are that coach guy then? Yeah, just whacked it on the car. Dante, how much debt have we got on those things? Nothing the house money won't cover. There's not going to be any house money. It's got subsidence. Hey! Tom can't get a mortgage to cover our share. We won't be getting any cash. So, how much is on them cards? I got, I got the money from the fight, all right? All I need to do is uh, sell the last couple of tickets. And then I can start setting up some more back. Chloe! Look, I just wanted to say it's all right. You'll definitely want me now, won't you? See you around, yeah? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. You're not the problem. I am. Your family are... complicated. I haven't got any experience. And I'm your teacher. So when something goes wrong... Goes wrong in front of everyone. Just don't worry about it. At least you're not related to me. But I, I'm sure he didn't mean to hurt me. He did. When Renard loses it, anyone can get it. Why do you think my mum keeps on kicking him out? Wait a minute, he's never hit you, is he? Yeah, like he tried. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sandra, hi. Yeah, I, yeah, I left a message. No, everything's going great. I just wanted to check something on Sam's file. I'm going to a bank. Wish me luck. Good luck. What are you doing here? I can't have trouble if Mason sees you. Oh, so you say dib, dib, dib and they hand the kids back? Th that's the idea, yeah. 
Reynolds, please, you have to go. They've got your mark, Rosie. The Alcu's a danger to her kids. Take more than you pulling up your socks to sort this one out. Of course, it'd be different if I was around. What? Well, it could be. I found a nice little bed set over the road. You'd be as right as rain in there. Me? <laughs> I've got a house. Yeah, and while you're in it, the kids ain't allowed over the doorstep. So, you move out. I move in. Kids come and live with me. How would you get them? Well, Sam's mine, I'll get her. Once the social see I'm sound, I'll get the rest of them. I'll be families. You can come and visit whenever you like, till you move back permanent. Who's gonna know? You could even stay the night. I've missed you, Rosie. Don't say that. It's true. It ain't the same without you. You get me, Rosie, and I get you. I can't pay the rent on two places. Well, I'll cover the deposit, and then you get a night job to cover the rest. So I get one myself, but I'd have to sit in and watch Prince, won't I? We like the old days. What? You bouncing me off the walls when you run out of tins and the office shut? No, I've changed. Maybe I want to change too. Well, you're perfect. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. Come here. Fix things, yeah? Just tell Sam. She'll want to stay with Wilding. Uh, when I'm done, he won't want to stay with her. I'll tell her that. She'll come. Reynolds! All right, Mark. Don't start, Marl. My hostel. It stinks of piss. And I lie awake all hours because the walls are paper thin. And the bloke in the room next to me is off his head, shouting at Jesus. Reynolds gonna get you. No out. one, no. No, it's not. You are by getting yourself straight. And if he's around, that he's not gonna happen. Well, six months down the line, we're gonna be in care again. But this time for good. No, I won't let that happen. It's about. You're not going to be able to help yourself. I'm just trying to do what's best. All right. I uh, come to give you some tires that Prince left in the crash and that rabbit thing he's daft about. Um, the girls might have been missing it, you know, with him being wherever he is. Sarah. Maxine, she scarfed during my class and I really need to talk to her. Protect your nails back pocket. <laughs> oh, stay. Have a nice weekend, won't you? Oh. Your social worker called back, she wants to see you. Nice trainers. Ah, just a man. Park at five, yeah? Oh, Sarah, he'd love to, but he's got to go up to the hospital. What? What's the matter? It's his gran, with her appendix. He opened her up and she was riddled. Uh, all right, well, I hope your gran recovers. We'll train later, yeah? Yeah. What do you think that for? Got you off with it, didn't I? Do you want to do this fight or not? Oh, here he is. You didn't dare go back to your foster home. I had to call his stepdaddy. You want to try some gratitude, you? What for? Picking up your phone and pressing call and numpty. Shut your mouth. Stop it. She's dissing Reynolds. Shut up and listen. I have something important to say. I'm moving out of the house. Reynolds moving in. Sam, you'll stop with him starting from tonight. The rest of you can follow once the social give the nod. What? I'm not staying with him, Mum. He's a plank. Sam, it's not just about you, is it? Prince needs to be home. You all do. And I'm, well, Reynolds can get you there faster than I can. Well, I'm not. Sam, just do it, all right? If you don't, it'll be Wilding that gets it. You know what your dad's like. Once he has his mind set on something, he won't stop till he's got it. 
Right. Well, I'm, I'm off back to pack because I'm, I'm, I'm going tonight. Come on then. Sing for it. You heard what she said. Oh, and don't expect Wilding home tonight. Maybe getting some flowers, he'll appreciate them from his hospital bed. Just shut up! Up. I need to lay my hands on a deposit for your mum's bed, sir. It's a minor setback. Yeah, well, we've got another one. Sambuca steam put. She doesn't want to give up Wilding's ponty telly. How many inches? Hey, still on for the pictures tonight? Uh, no, everyone's going out, so. Oh, all right. Oh, have you been stood up? Hmm? Ah, it's all right. I was going to take my lesser too. It just means I'll have to watch something romantic. Hey, Phil! Where's your trainers? Ah, swapped him. Earl Kelly. I knew it. Come on, let's go and get him back. Uh, no, it's alright. I, I like these ones. They're cool, so. Right, how many tickets you want? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. 24, top man. What about you? Four, please. Four again? Yeah, top man. Uh, there's your four. Right, Giza. Man. Enjoy the fight, boys. Oi, it's a sellout, mate. Like it makes a difference. Hey, it's a start, all right? Yo, boys, make sure you watch the website, yeah? More fights coming soon, OK? Yeah. He's a good coach. Slave driver more than life. Cos he's trying to help me. So, what's going on with you two? Bolton, he's one with his knickers in a knot. Why, what's up? I don't think this is a good idea. What? What if I get injured? And how's that going to happen? I've got a big career ahead of me, you know. What, as a chicken? Smiles. Yeah, you're the best. There's no way anyone can hurt you. I don't know, man. I have to think about it, innit? After all? No. And neither you, you need to go see Miss Mason. What about? I don't know, she's not gonna tell me, is she? I'm just messing you. Are you gonna wait for me? No, I told you. Everyone's going out. Uh, give me one minute. I've just got someone in there. Uh, Joyce, can you photocopy the hand? Thank you. Just one. Oh, come on. Get off me. Get, get off. Oh, come on. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm just giving you a lift to Wildings. I'm not going there. I'm going out. Barlow Road, was it? Yeah. Thanks, Miss Mason. I'll get right on it. Cheers. Oh, Matt, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chaos as usual. So, what can I do for you? Sam said you wanted to see me. Um, no. No? But now you're here, maybe I can um, change your mind about pressing charges against Mr. Kelly. I don't want to cause any more problems for Sam. Or yourself? Matt, I don't know Sam's father at all, but from what I've seen, he doesn't strike me as a graceful loser. So if you're not going to report him and you're going to keep Sam, just be vigilant. Doing this. I just want to see what he's got that I haven't. You don't want to 
can't be my dad. You never have done. You're just using me to get back with my mum. Fine. If I can't change your mind about stopping the air, I'm sure I can change Wildings. What time's you back? Don't you even dare hurt him. He ain't done no wrong. He's just trying to wear. Start with the bedroom, girl. Take anything he can't use with two broken arms. Well, say I go with you. I'm doing my own thing, though. I'm not sitting in with you or anything. Suits me. So, be close to a deal. Max, it's me. Give us a call. Let's kiss and make off, eh? Hey? What the hell is that? Deposit on your bed, sit. <laughs> a little present from Mr. Wiley for relieving him of our Sam. Unit Wilding's telly. You can thank me later on. Well, that reminds me. A little something to get you in the mood. And once we're reacquainted, I'll drop you off at your new place. Where are you going? Our Sam's up out. She wants to take you to some old tyre factory near Parkside. You're running around now, are you? Her father's work is never done. Plus, I'm not letting her out of my sight. The last thing we need is air running back to Wiley. Drink up. Hi, Mr. Cleaver. Hi, Candy. I am so sorry about Bottom's grandmother. Yeah, he told me that. Uh, she's not ill, is she? Well, that depends on how you look at it. She's been dead ten years. Take my coat, shall we? We're all here, guys! Hey, smiley lad! Ready for the big fight? Don't they? Is this it? What did you expect? Madison Square Gardens? Come on, everyone! One I love a good fight. I told you, just because I'm staying with you, don't mean I've got to do anything with you. You coming or what? No. Suit yourself. Alright, come on. Let's go upstairs. Look, Matt, don't take it personally, hey? It's like me with Maxine. Even when she doesn't want me around, I've still got to be there for her. Unless I'm catching a show. Where are you going? Hey, who's that guy? I ain't fighting without it. You can have to, because you have a kid doesn't have one. I ain't getting no stupid concussion for a stupid bout. This ain't some stupid bout, Smiley. You're the one that's been strutting around all week saying you're the next big thing. That's why they're all here, to see what you're made of. You drop out now and I'm telling you, you'll never live this down. You're always going to be the kid with a big mouth and no balls, you get me? Oh, that ain't true. Yeah, I know that smiles, but they don't, do they? Because no one's ever seen you fight. You want to walk away? Fine. That's up to you. I don't want to be the one that's checking your post on your fan site tomorrow. Where's Sam? She's not here, she's with her mates. Some of the old tire factory.
in a trashy place. No, but it was you who stopped me getting trash along with it. That's why you left me at school, wasn't it? You said if I didn't go with him, he'd have you. No. It's okay. It's okay. You protected me. Now I'm protecting you. Come on. Where are we going? I don't know. A guest house? Somewhere we'll be safe until we can sort something out more permanent. He'll kill us. He wants to get back into my mum's place and he's not going to get there unless he's got me. As long as he didn't know where we are, we're, we're fine, aren't we? Come on, let's get out of there. serious this is. I've got your message. You sit through the final credits. But I'm sorry. I am sorry. I just really needed you here earlier. Miss, what's going to happen? Do you know what? I don't know, but for starters, you'll be donating all the profits from this little school trip to Bolton's official training fund. And I was sending you an invoice for the cost of the replacement coach I'm about to organise. Replacement? Yes, and I hope you've got insurance on that one. <laughs> Who the hell's done that? Who the hell's done that? <laughs> One injury. One stupid injury. And you could have ruined everything that we worked for. We'll train tomorrow. How many times, eh? Till you get it. You keep away from my family. But we just stop it. I want to stay with him. Do you really think you have any choice? I'll see you in my office first thing, yes? Yes, miss. So we can talk about this. Violence isn't the answer. Something I saw on telly? <laughs> Didn't think it would work, actually. <laughs> Sorry. You wouldn't have hurt yourself if you'd fallen properly. You okay? Hey, listen. I know we talked about a guest house, but um, I wouldn't mind us just getting home. How about you? Cool, but I really need to get somewhere, so I'll be back in a bit, yeah? Well, I'll come with you. No, I'll be fine, honest. Just get to you, because I'm starving. I'm getting my money back. I only got half a fight. Leave it. You better not be using all the hot water. Where is it? Shower. You're not meant to come in here till I've gone. No, you're not going. You're not leaving us with him, Mum. Love, we've been through this. He wants to get you home. No, we don't. Don't give a toss, it's just here because he needs somewhere to keep. It's just going to be him shouting all night and losing his wagon. You're not even going to be here. He won't hurt you, if that's what you're worried about. You know that, do you? I'm going to be with you, Mum. Not him. We don't need him. I hear what he does to you. Hi, 
please, please. It was a lovely idea, Dave. But I've got to be here for Max. She's my priority. I feel like a right idiot. Don't. Listen, how about you come around Friday and if Max is out, we can stick on the Marvin Gaye and have a bit of a cuddle. No, I don't think so. Just because I can't come away for the weekend doesn't mean we can't have fun. No, but... I'm not in this just for the fun. Or the cuddles. Not that they've not been great. In fact, spectacular on occasion but I was hoping for more if that's not available well it doesn't seem right to just carry on with the other stuff I feel like I was using you use away I don't mind no but I do if I'm with a lady I need to be with her all or nothing it's a respect thing respect for her respect for me I'm sorry oh. I hope you understand. Well, no point standing around waiting for the fat lady to sing, eh? I'll often do me rounds. Oh, eh. This is for you, eh? It's nothing now. Got it off the shopping channel. Dave, I can't take that. No, you, you have to. See, I've had it engraved. It's no good to anybody else. One more thing. It's time to take one for the road. Are you Mr. Kelly? Sorry, Ren. I'm done. This is him. And that's Wilding's telly. Mr. Wilding. Mom. this somewhere else, you know, that pub, I, I won't blame you. No, you're fine. I'll just get these coppers and we'll get going. Here, I've made a start on your business plan already. Well, you've done loads. Everything's easier when you got a clear head. <laughs> I'll just stick this thing out. Hi. You all right? Just doing my homework. Look. I know you're loved up at the minute. But sometimes how you feel about somebody isn't that important. It's whether or not you, you make each other happy. And look at you. Hey? You're fantastic. And with the right bloke on your arm, you could be anything you want to be. But Max with a waster like Earl Kelly, God knows where you're going to end up. I'm frightened for you. Anyway, you know where I am. Let's not have any secrets, eh? Twenty quid in here last night. 
Are you saying I need to? No, I'm asking if you borrowed it. Well, I didn't. And I suppose you didn't borrow me gold necklace either. Steph, I'm not touching stupid necklace or your money. I can't believe you're even asking. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, madam, so don't take that tone with me. Do you think I'm back on the drugs? 